St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Mrs. Louise Spurley from Regina, Saskatchewan. She offers this Mass for the deceased members of her family, Campaign, Gaudette, Cannell, and Spurley. Also in thanksgiving for the daily Mass, for the many priests who are devoted, are so devoted, and that God will keep her close to God's heart. On behalf of all the faithful who are gathered here, our thanks go out to Mrs. Louis Spurley in Regina, Saskatchewan for the gift of this Mass. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We will say the Gloria, and I'd recommend that you say the Creed in the quiet of your heart. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind the fact that Jesus loves us so much and is willing to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Join me now as we praise God and say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now pray together. Father, we rejoice in the gifts of love we have received from the heart of Jesus, your Son. Open our hearts to share his life and continue to bless us with his love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. The word of the Lord.
God's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is in within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget all His The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Then turning to his disciples, Jesus said, All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise 